Hello, my name's Ed Hollis and I'm a professor at the University of Edinburgh. I've been asked to share a little reminiscence uh, of Prince Dwalkanath Tagore uh, for the events that will be taking place uh, in Narangpuri uh, over the next few days. Um, and I'm speaking to you from a place that might seem very far away uh, from Narangpuri. I'm at the town of Kenmore in the highlands of Scotland. I'm sitting in a churchyard and next to me here uh, is a grave with a very strong Indian connection. Uh, you might see that this is the grave of the infant son of the Maharaja Dilip Singh, uh, the last king of the Punjab. And he lived here uh, in a castle, Castle Mingus, just outside Kenmore here in the highlands of Scotland, uh, being brought up under the care or the captivity one might say, of Queen Victoria. 20 years before this grave was put here uh, and uh, the Maharaja's heir was buried here as a small child, uh, Prince Dwarkanath Tagore had also made a visit to this part of the world. He was one of the first of his caste uh, to leave Bengal, to leave Calcutta, to come to London uh, and to make friends uh, with Queen Victoria, uh, the woman uh, who later uh, took under her care uh, to be seen, uh, himself. He came to the city of Edinburgh and was given the freedom of the city of Edinburgh and indeed gifted uh, a whole collection uh, of Jaipuri paintings uh, to the university there, uh, which are still available for us to see in the library. Prince Dwarkanath's grandson, of course, uh, was the great poet Rabindranath. Uh, and every time you hear his songs and every time I hear his songs, uh, I hear the tunes of the Scottish folk songs that were made in the landscape around here. So it's been a long and fruitful uh, and fascinating connection uh, between these two very distant countries, uh, Bengal uh, and Scotland, uh, for many centuries. Coming about in music, and the people who lived here, uh, the art and the literature uh, that we have shared together. So I wish you well uh, on uh, these important days to celebrate uh, the life of Prince Dwarkanath.